All right. Happy Wednesday, May the 1st. Hebrews 7, verses 15 to 25 today says, And this becomes clear if another priest like Melchizedek appears, who did not become a priest based on a legal regulation about physical descent, but based on the power of an indestructible life. For it has been testified you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. So the previous command is annulled because it was weak and unprofitable. For the law perfected nothing. But a better hope is introduced through which we draw near to God. None of this happened without an oath, for others became priests without an oath. But he became a priest with an oath made by the one who said to him, The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever. Because of this oath, Jesus has also become the guarantee of a better covenant. Now, many have become Levitical priests since they are prevented by death from remaining in office. Now, what that means, many have been Levitical priests, but they die. But because he remains forever, he holds his priesthood permanently. Therefore, he's able to save completely those who come to God through him since he always lives to intercede for them. So Jesus is an eternal priest. His is an eternal priesthood. And in this passage, I like those words, indestructible life. See, uh, we read previously that phrase, in the days of his flesh. You see, Jesus is proclaimed the forever highest priest by God his Father. He is not appointed because of legal tradition or tribal lineage. He is proclaimed because of who he is. He is son and heir, and he is his is an indestructible life. And the law was imperfect and insufficient to make people righteous, but the new covenant established in the shed blood of Jesus accomplished what the law and the Levitical priesthood never could. Uh, Levitical priests died and were replaced. Their priesthoods ended very naturally. Jesus' priesthood is forever and eternal. Uh, He represents all mankind before the throne of God and has made sacrifice for the sins of the world. I need a high priest. Right? Remember yesterday or day before I talked about growing up very Baptist? (laughs) Well, this Baptist boy needs a high priest, and Jesus is that high priest. See you tomorrow.